His country is split by a brutal civil war. He stands accused of a horrific chemical attack, and he faces the prospect of an American strike in the weeks to come. He also hasn't spoken to an American television network in nearly two years. But today, Bashar al-Assad sat down with CBS This Morning co-host Charlie Rose. I spoke to Charlie a short time ago from Dubai as he makes his way back home. The president of Syria acknowledges that chemical weapons are as bad as other weapons of mass destruction, but believes that he can make the case that he did not do it, and uh, says he's not even convinced that chemical weapons were used. He's not seen the proof. He does not believe that the administration has shown the evidence they have that his government was responsible. Charlie, you've spoken to President Assad before. What struck you most about this particular interview? I thought he was remarkably calm uh, and conversational. I think he made a commitment, perhaps because he's his father's son, that all he had to do was just go all out, that in order to save the regime, he had to go all out. He took note of the fact that war is ruthless uh, and that in war you have to do everything you can to survive. Does Bashar al-Assad believe he will stay in power? I think he does. I think he knows the risk. I asked him about that. I said, you've seen what happened to Gaddafi. You saw what happened in Tunisia. You saw what happened in Egypt. He will say, and he argues in this conversation, he's been able to, to prosecute this war for two and a half years because he has the support of the Syrian people. Charlie Rose, we can't wait to see more tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. And you can see extended portions of Charlie Rose's interview with Syrian President Assad first thing tomorrow on CBS This Morning.